What's up guys? This week I am so excited and giggly because we are talking about the Universal Unifier. Boop! <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Savannah and I teach hippies how to live a more natural and healthy lifestyle through science and mindfulness. Today, like I said, we're talking about the elephant in the room, poop. I'm gonna get into some of the chemicals that you want to avoid while trying to make things more regular, if you know what I mean. Plus some tips and tricks that I use to keep things moving so that I can feel lean, not bloated, and comfortable. So if you're someone who just can't seem to keep things regular and you're not pooping every single day, Definitely keep on watching. Before we dive in, won't you be an absolute babe and hit that subscribe button. I put out new videos every single week. And if you haven't checked out my blog post this week, it is linked down below. Tips and tricks on how to reduce bloating because sometimes even just drinking water in the morning like takes your stomach from this to like, you know what I mean? Diving in, I'm gonna share with you my six tips and tricks, the secrets of the trade. <laughs> to help you be on a more regular schedule. Number one is my best secret and it is to take magnesium supplements. Magnesium helps to relax the muscles in the intestinal wall so it kinda loosens things up and you know, helps things move along. <laughs> magnesium also works as an osmotic which means that it helps pull water into the bowels. So like everything's loose and plump and things are moving right along, you know what I mean? I'm an Italian man now. Most nutritionists will suggest that you take magnesium citrate. I personally like magnesium oxide. Um, I have a magnesium deficiency, so I have to take it anyways. And I'm gonna link below the brand that I use. It's, it's the same chemical, no matter what company you buy from, but that's the one that I use. Tip number two is to do light movement after meals. So just get up, go outside. If it's snowing, I don't know, walk in circles around your house, get on the treadmill you have, jump up and down, do a happy dance. Do some sort of light movement after you eat. It's gonna help, you know. I don't know why I keep doing this motion. This is like the good poop motion, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna help your digestion. So do some movement after you eat and you'll have better poops. Tip number three is Tried and true, you gotta eat your fiber. You gotta eat your veggies, you gotta eat your fruit. You heard it first from your mom, now you're hearing it from me, the mom friend. You gotta eat your fruits and veggies, I'm sorry. I know it's tough, especially when you live in America and everything is fried and processed, but even if you don't wanna eat vegetables, like at least eat some fruit. Like, fruit is delicious. Comment below your favorite fruit. But if you absolutely refuse to eat fruits and veggies for some reason, then you might want to take a fiber supplement. Make sure that you're not just taking sorbitol, okay? That's a chemical that'll make you poop, but it's not actually great for you. I'll link more about sorbitol down below if you want to go read on that. Because most fiber supplements are just sorbitol and they're not actually fiber and that's kind of like a scam. And uh, I'll also link down below a fiber supplement that I recommend. Number four is to stay hydrated, but you have to be hydrated at the right times in relation to when you're eating. So if you're not hydrated, your organs will get all like dried up and like not plush and bouncy and doing this and things are just gonna stay stagnant. There's not gonna be a lot of metabolic function, not a lot of movement, so get your water. Everyone needs to be drinking half their body weight in ounces every single day and you need to be drinking water before you eat or two hours after you eat, not during the time that you're eating for optimal digestion and therefore excellent poops. Tip five is to use senna leaf. This is kind of like a last resort and I pretty much would only recommend doing it if your physician told you to do it. Senna leaf is in a lot of detox teas and it's not great for you because you think that you're, you know, drinking this tea and it's gonna make you skinny but really it's just making you poop your brains out and not take in any of the nutrients from the food that you're eating. So it's kind of like a form of starvation. Um, comment below if you've ever done a detox tea, like the brand name, and I will vet it for you and let you know if it's just a bunch of senna leaves, which is honestly like makes me pretty mad because it's like you're paying all this money for branding and this company is making guap and you're just getting senna leaves in a tea bag plus maybe like a small amount of other leafy additives. Tip number six is you gotta manage your stress. I have all people like, I am so freaking high strong. I'm like basically manic all the time. I'm like, ah, ruled by anxiety when I can't 
keep it under control, but when I am keeping it under control, I'm doing so by meditating. You gotta meditate. I know it's hard, but you can do hard things, okay? Blog post below for beginner meditators to follow. It's like meditation 101, good stuff. Speaking of meditation, next week we're talking about spirituality. If you're tired of listening to hippie dips, not unlike myself, talk about meditation, vibes, the universe, and you don't really know what that means, I'm gonna be breaking down what spirituality actually means, what it refers to from both a hippie and scientific point of view, kind of like the biology behind it. Don't forget to give this video a like and if you want to learn more about how to live a more holistic, healthy lifestyle, then watch one of these two videos right here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blissful day and I'll see you in the next one.